Welcome again this morning with me on this subject of our culture in the African traditional religion, ATR. I am Dr. Charles Chukwemeka Amanze, High Prince Ugochi Yerewa, Amadi Ohan Sirimu. I want to discuss today with you the symbols of this in our traditional religion that has been bastardized by the way of black magic and uh, that of white magic. You see, in our religion, in the African religion, we have the Kabbalists, we have the Kwabalas, and then we have other branches in its entirety. Last video we discussed about Ezenwa and Yimiri, how they look like. That is the mother in the water. And today we are, discuss, uh, we are discussing about Anna. Anna. A N A. Anna. Anna. In Anambra tongue, they say Allah. In other tongue, they say Anne. A N I. Anne. Or it symbolizes the earth. Now. I want to make a little elaboration. Here it is called an ozum. Here is a home for ants. But here also is a kingdom. When we perform some traditional rites, those traditional rites are not meant to be seen by the eyes of men. If it is not in the temple where the work or the ritual was performed, it will be sent to the water for those that has to do with the seven kingdoms. When it has to do with the earth, the work of the earth, we're talking about the land and the sea. We have discussed the sea, which is says in one mini, as the case may be, or where we say the paradise is, or where we say as the passageway to the paradise and the seven kingdoms. Here is the entirety of the kingdom of the earth. This is its similitude. Now, when we perform rituals or sacrifices that has to do with the earth when we perform the act that has to do with the earth when we perform the act that has to do with home affairs seals and all that when it is to be destroyed the pastors will come for example ishinjoku there is a seal we we'll call ishinjoku for example I will teach about Ohanjoko one day in the video and uh, you will understand where I'm coming from. If you say you are tired, a family say they are tired of handling that seal which their forefathers has prepared, then it is the work of a high prince or a priest who, in that order, will bring such a seal because it has to do with men and their kingdom into this place, perform the rituals, open it and send it in and close it. If you come back in the next seven days, you will not see that element, that seal has returned the way it came because it's all about spirit. Now pastors will come, they will come and burn it and calabash with their prayers and finish everything. Instead of losing the families in bondage, they intend in caging the families more in bondage. Because why? A wrong step has been taken. Number one. Number two. Anne. 
If you go inside this place, there are roads to so many places that you and I don't know where it ends. Now, the sacrifices that are made for four junctions of the road are sent into this place. The sacrifices that are made for the earth are sent into this place. It is the magic ones and those of other dark power that drag it by force that goes to drop the sacrifices on the road. And when they do that, it causes accident and take people's life. Majority of the accidents you see on the road are effect of these powers manipulated in search of one thing or the other. This is it is that what brought about children's sacrifices, human sacrifices. These are those black magic that they perform because they want to draw it by force, and it takes those sacrifices from them. But if you want to go in the way of the Kabbalah or the Kabbalistic nature of Odenana in Omena and Nebo, we don't put sacrifices on the road. Sacrifices are kept in the temple where it was done or it is being brought to a kingdom of this nature. And then until that is dissolved, the blessing for which you seek in that sacrifices will get to you without at contaminated with human blood. But the sacrifices you take to the main road, the sacrifices you keep on the bank of the road for those travelers or whatsoever, the, the, the causes mayhem. This is a revelation. The causes mayhem in the environment where those sacrifices are being performed. But this, you will find a four road junction. Here, you will find a three road junction. Here, you will find pathways to so many places in this kingdom of the earth. And now, why do we say it's the kingdom of the earth? There is always heart in all things. This is the heart of the earth, Obiala. So whatsoever thing you are doing, without the Obiala, when it has to do with the earth, you, are, you don't know what you are doing. When you are performing a sacrifice, and you drop it like other prophetess and other spiritual men do, it is against the ethics and practice of cultural tradition. The, the, the food that will be taken to a forest goes to a forest. And the food or the sacrifices that will be taken to the land or on the road goes into this place. The earth is here. I said, the earth is the Lord and its fullness thereof. The earth is the Lord and its fullness thereof. So, the fullness of the mystery of creation, building, achievement, success is inside here. You don't understand how each of these element of horn represent one thing or the other in the interpretation of the spiritual gift as associated with the earth. Now, if we want to go deeper to analyze what we want you to understand here, we of the masters of the ancient order recognizes this. These are natural symbols of the fullness and the mystery of God that mankind cannot explain. Now, those of our fathers who have successfully fulfilled this task for their family, their family blossom, their children succeed. Sometimes, some of our families, there are some things you do, others do it that will not work for them. So, if they are doing sacrifices for you and they take it to the road, Remember that definitely, one way or the other, your success has to do with human blood contamination. If your rituals are performed and sent to the waters, it depends on the kingdom and what was done. For anything that has to do with the earth, this is the kingdom for which we send all sacrifices so that eyes cannot see or know. Now, let me give you one secret. 
if I am walking on the road and I see a sacrifice as a high prince and I say, what is this? Immediately I frown at that sacrifice. Every spirit will frown at that sacrifice. This is a mystery. This is a secret. And if any man passes that road and sees that sacrifice, say, fear, ah, you will have problem with that sacrifice because that spirit is against, that human being that is against that thing is a spirit. He's a spirit. So that is why the sacrifices we do are not meant for eye to see. It remains between you and your God concealed in this or in the waters. Okay, so this is what we talk about Anna. This is the OB Anna, the heart of the earth. And in the English, the four corners of the earth, we have the Salatel, we have the Raphael, we have the Uriel, we have the Michael. These are the four angels of the four quarters of the earth. And one of them is the earth. So, if I reveal that to you, it cost me many years of study to discover among these three angels I call that one is the earth. And I would like to review that, which is Raphael. And the Raphael, when you hear the Raphael and the Raphael, you're talking about the earth. He is in charge of the earth. You talk about the Raphael, you're calling the earth. So these are things that the churches confuse us with. I, since I have been moving, I have been seeing beings. I have not seen angel with the wings. I don't know where they bring the, the statue they gave us or the drawings they gave us that angels have wings that they fly. No, these are demons. If actually an angel appeared to you with the wings, it's a demon. There is no creature of God that flies before God with the wings. Those are the fairy tales. Okay, so let us be sure the God we are serving and the mysteries behind the God we are serving. This is one of the mysteries of our culture, the kingdoms. And here, many live inside this place and they have one as their queen and one as their king, which is as big as something. And uh, that is the Obia, that is the heart of the earth. So when you want to speak to the earth, it's through here. That is why some rituals, when you, the Ojiofo gather, and we, they run this place with their offer and pass a decree. <laughs> that, um, <laughs> that kingdom they gathered for must surely fall down. That's the Mbidiji record. So when the Ojiofos in our culture gather right now, for example, if the office of the high prince as instituted has formed her government as required by 49 priests, high priests, or chief priests of different talent and calling in the traditional circle, when they gather plus the high prince myself, which is 50, and we around this place with our offer, and those of them with the staff, those of them with the wand of authority, and they pass a decree and hit, boom. The earth, anywhere you are in the Wafras, you are matching this earth where you are, you are in for it. And when we say an army, an army will be consumed. Count the number of the ants inside this hill, they will transform to armies. And they, you will be killing something you don't know how it's coming from. So these are these mysteries that we don't need gone. We don't need violence to establish our nation. What we need is the proper understanding of our culture. We will see that all things that we seek for will come because the earth is the Lord and its fullness thereof. So if we claim that we worship the Lord, then we're supposed to be in control of the earth that we place our foot in. The government is running upon the earth. There is no government in the world bigger than this that the mystery of nature have shown us. So if he here is governed in peace and not in tyranny, there also ever government that feel that is a tyrannical government, someone here will perish. This is a mystery. 49 DBS. 
the high prince is still calling upon you. It is a task that we must fulfill. Our nation will run upon the platform of our court and not upon the platform of violence or tyranny. Without this, it will take time for our God to answer us properly in the call for our freedom. We will do the right thing. We will not go astray. Neither will we sell out the secrets as the gods have revealed. Not everything I will bring to you on the video, but I'm teaching you the culture. So now in our environment, there should be sanity. Dropping sacrifices on the road is a wrong idea. This is where it should go, anything that has to do with the land or the earth, for any sacrifice whatsoever. So if you don't have the authority to come before this to pass a decree, as you put and go, you are dead body go there for your house. This is how we control fake among us in this whole spiritual or cultural activities, Omenala and all that. This is how we control those who are not called. Because if you are not called and approach here for any sacrifice, you will not wake up alive the next day. That is why they are afraid of coming to this place. So, thank you very much for following up for this teaching today. I will stop here. But I want to say that majority of your sacrifices or the work that you have performed in terms of your guardian angel, in terms of your own spirit of existence, and you see no result, doesn't mean that they didn't do their work. They did it, but they lack the authority, number one, and they lack the principles towards that work. By so doing, it becomes what they learn. And remember, how it works for A is not how it works for B, because destinies are different. That is why we make all this mistake in this our cultural and traditional religional programs and acts. So when you are performing, ensure that uh, in our culture, before you become a traditionalist, there is a process. And after the process, you will be conferred as a native doctor. And now, the same way in the church, before you become a pastor, there is a process. And after their school, you start shouting on the altar. That's what makes you a pastor in religion. But our own is not like that. We, the culture is a calling. And when you are called, you will pass into the rigorous rituals as associated with it. After the rituals, you cannot be able to begin to study the tenets and necromancies associated with your calling so that you can do it right, just like the scriptures. There are other books apart from the Bible, but the Bible is the foundation upon which we stand to practice every other act of element and decree in the social, cultural, and religious affair as associated with the culture of the black man. Thank you. Join us every day in our video. I want to thank my fans out there who bring out their time to listen to our lectures. I say may God bless you and provide for you the ability to continue. I also want to say please return home to our religion. The church have deceived us so much. I was a missionary. I am a missionary. Now my missionary work is upon my culture and not the culture of the white man. That is the missionary work I'm propelling right now. And that is the calling that my God has given unto me. I will not reject it. The missionary, the seminary institute was as a will because I want to serve God. But in this culture, God has called and I will answer. I will go where he wants me to go. I will do what he wants me to go. Over the mountains, over the sea, upon the lands, and in every corner of the earth, I will answer the call of my creator. Thank you, brothers and sisters, as we move forward. Subscribe with us on Facebook. Subscribe with us on YouTube. Like our videos. Show us your interest. Comment and tell us how you feel over our program. And tell us where we need to make improvement if there is need be. And that will gladden our heart to know that people are listening and that they are learning. Thank you and God bless you. See you in our next video. <coughs>